Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video so guys you can see that my hair is currently a mess but you know today I'm going ahead to do a wash day and I'll be showing you how it is I make my DIY treatment so it's going to be a moisture and protein treatment that I'll be making with ingredients well, natural ingredients so it will be aloe vera from my garden and as well as some eggs I got at the market so this is for, as I said, moisture and protein. I just took my four locks out. I had them in for six weeks. And prior to that six weeks, for the four locks, I had braids. Because I did the wrapping method for my four locks on my old braids. So in total, I had protective style for two months. So you know, currently my hair needs some moisture. And in the event there was any damage to my strands while in the protective style because you know sometimes we're not moisturizing us properly so i'll be doing the treatments to restore my hair moisture and protein so guys we'll be getting into that shortly i'll be showing you how it is i made this mixture that i'll be using and i'll be showing you the application process of it as well so just showing you what my hair is like now let's get into it so to get started guys I'll be using two aloe vera leaves freshly cut two eggs and some extra virgin olive oil I'll be pouring it from my applicator bottle so to start I'll be removing the sides of the aloe vera where the thorns are to avoid any cuts or damages while using the aloe vera and then I'll be removing one side of the leaf as close as possible to the leaf to not use any of the product inside any of the aloe vera gel so just go ahead to peel it down and then once I've done that I'll go ahead to use the knife to remove the gel from the center of the leaf I try my best as possible guys to not have any of the skin on the outside to come off while I do so once I've cut it from the leaf, I'll also be scraping to take any excess that didn't come off while I was cutting. For some persons, they do go ahead to use a spoon, which makes it easier for them to scoop the aloe vera from the leaf. So I'll just go ahead to repeat the same process for both aloe vera leaves removing the thorns from the side and then scooping the aloe vera gel from the center well let's get into some of the benefits of aloe vera as to why i i am using it for my deep conditioning treatment so aloe vera is great for a healthier scalp and hair it's good for reducing buildup on your scalp especially after wearing a protective style for a while you know you can have buildup and it can reduce that for you. It's great for treating dandruff. It is an excellent natural product for stimulating hair growth. It adds moisture not just to your hair follicles but also to your scalp. And it's also good for treating hair loss and hair thinning. So you know for some persons certain protective styles might not work for your hair type or you know from wearing wigs for too long or using different products in your hair that are not for your hair type you can have issues with hair loss or hair thinning aloe vera is a very good option that can be used to restore your hair to stimulate growth and to strengthen your hair and moisturize as well I would recommend adding aloe vera to your hair treatment or your hair regime at least once per month 
you know or especially after having protective styles or wearing wigs for a certain amount of period to allow your hair to boost its growth and increase in moisture So you can see here from my aloe vera here that it has a lot of water. This is due to the fact that we have been getting a little bit of rain in the last three weeks. So my aloe vera plants are a little bit more moist. So I'm just going to go ahead now to add two eggs. You have the option as well of removing the egg white. I decided to use both because I will be straining after. So let's get into the benefits of using egg in your hair mask so for the yolk guys using the yolk in your hair mask it is packed with vitamins that make your hair more resistant to damage it is consists fats and proteins and iron which moisturizes your dry hair and prevents shedding which is something we really need for natural hair and if you choose to use the egg whites this is great for removing unwanted oil from the scalp to stop your hair from looking greasy so the egg white is really optional you can just use the yolk because the yolk is the most beneficial part of it in regards to your hair benefits i also added olive oil to my mixture because olive oil is good for treating dandruff it is a natural moisturizer and it will add shine to the hair so i added it for that purpose so I'm going to go ahead now to blend the ingredients. So once I've completed the blending, I go ahead to strain the mixture. Why I'm straining is just in the event there's any particles from the leaf of the aloe vera, which would have been in the container, this will be strained out so that there is no residue left back in, the, in my hair when I apply it. Now we have completed that process so we'll just go ahead to the application step so what i have done here is i've gone ahead to wash my hair to shampoo off camera so this is freshly washed hair and you can see i used a t-shirt to remove the water excess water instead of a towel so i'm just going to go ahead now to apply the mixture to sections of my hair i have not detangled my hair as yet i'll go ahead to do that after the application of the deep treatment so as you can see here i'm just applying the mixture to different sections of my hair applying it from the roots to the ends You'll notice that I, in some cases, I'm dipping my entire hair in the mixture to get it to spread more.
My application process was a little bit on the lazy side of life, but I would recommend that you do apply the mixture to different sections, maybe separating your hair in four and then applying to each section separately. Do ensure that in your application, your entire hair is saturated with the mix, which allows for it to be absorbed from the root to the ends for all section. This mask is also good for skincare, so I scored a double hair as while well, applying it to my hair. You can see I was it was also applying itself to my face. Once you have fully applied the mix to your hair, You'll just go ahead to put it away in a steam cap or shower cap for about 30 to 60 minutes. I had it in a little bit longer than that but it allows for it to steam properly and for it to soak in to treat your hair, to deep condition and treat your hair. So guys, it's been an hour since I put on the shower cap. I did add a little towel over it. I did put the towel over it as well. You can realize it's very moist to absorb some of the liquid that would have been running from the shower cap. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like after an hour steaming. Feeling very moist. Very moist. So you realize it's still moist. Um, it hasn't dried out. So guys, after Rinsing the products from my hair, I did go ahead to condition and detangle my hair in the shower. Look at my beard. Yes, I did go ahead to detangle my hair in the shower. Um, from the detangle process, I really lost only this amount of hair, which is which is nothing compared to my normal detangle process. So you know, due to detangling, you're not really seeing the curl pattern like that anymore. I'm not Afro chic. Yes, so I'm just going to go ahead to continue to separate my hair and put it away for the night. I won't be styling it tonight because I actually have something that I want to do with it that I don't feel like doing tonight. So, I can feel the difference in the strength of my hair, especially when I was detangling. It feels a lot stronger and there was limited breakage despite the fact that I had in a protective style for six weeks, you know. Normally your hair sheds, so regardless of a protective style, your hair is expected to shed. So that would work out, so the hair I got out, but there was no breakage. So the treatment is already working. So I'm just going to go ahead to continue to detangle and put away in some plaits so that my hair doesn't get too dry and kinky. So guys, that's it for today's video. Just go ahead and leave me a thumbs up on your way out. Comment below and let me know if you'll be trying this treatment. So until next time guys, continue to be your authentic self and stay naturally. Bye.